aim of test to test the length of the rectus femoris muscle. Note that this test also serves to identify neurological liaisons, to test the femoral nerve, but in this video, we will refer only to muscle tightness. Why is it important to test the length of the rectus femoris muscle? This test will help us in all cases of suspected shortening of the muscle or in sports that require extra flexibility in this muscle to prevent injuries. For example, cases of hyperlordosis with suspected shortening of the rectus femoris muscle or extended sitting during the day which shortens the muscle and all sports that include hip extension with knee flexion, soccer, volleyball, track, and field. Method. With patient laying on the stomach, the practitioner places one hand on the patient's pelvis while the other hand holds the ankle. The practitioner flexes the patient's knee and brings the heel toward the buttocks. The hand on the ankle feels the extent of muscle stretch. The second hand on the pelvis feels the pelvic movement. What is the normal condition? The heel reaches the buttocks without compensations, such as internal pelvic rotation or hip abduction. The end feel for the practitioner will be moderate muscle stretch. The end feel is the quality of movement perceived by the practitioner at the very end of the available range of motion. What is an excellent condition? Heel to the buttocks as well as the possibility of lifting the knee from the mat, hip extension, without anterior pelvic rotation and or lifting from the mat. What is a non-normal condition? A strong stretch feeling at about 90 degrees in the knee. There will also be compensation of anterior pelvic tilt as it lifts from the mat on the same side or hip abduction. The end feel will be of strong muscles. Note, instead of lifting and tilting the pelvis forward, the patient can compensate by abducting the thigh. Make sure to keep the thigh in line with the hip joint. Release the muscle by thigh abducting compensation. At times, such a stretch can create discomfort in the lower back. In such cases, hold the sacrum in place with the free hand to create counter nutation and ask the patient to tighten the abdominal muscles slightly. For the most part, this will help to reduce discomfort in the lower back.